guys so this video is going to be another book haul since i don't have any brain power to restrict myself yes so um i went to indigo which was my first time there incredible i liked it with my mom and my sister since we went to uh montreal yeah uh and i did some damage to my bank account mostly so i'm gonna show you what i bought i bought a lot of books and i'm now a member of like plum so the indigo membership thing my sister is but i'm stalling her card so that's why anyway yeah the only thing that i buy uh, that i bought uh, which was not at indigo was with my friend and one of my friends uh, was like, I know you want it, so buy it. So yeah, I got a Daredevil like, comic books thing. Like it's a, it's in French, but it's like the uh, how Daredevil became Daredevil. Which if you know me right now, I'm like in a Daredevil phase. Yes, it's a problem, but I know Marvel just announced some stuff, so I'm happy about it. So yeah. It's, uh, I think, a volume. It's like a collection of thing, And it's uh, in French. But I don't care, since I speak French. Yeah. Uh, it's Star of All Yellow. And yeah. I'm... Uh, I'm happy. Uh, I really like it. And... I want to know. Since I, I know, you know, the basic stuff about superheroes but i want to know more so that's why i bought it i don't know where i'll put it on my bookshelf since it's in french probably at the bottom but i don't care i like i like to cover as well so here we go into the stuff the english stuff mostly yeah so the first uh first book i got was all of Us Villains by uh, Kristen Lynn Ehrman and Amanda Fody. Uh, this one, this one's pitch is like a uh, Hunger Game. If Hunger Game, like everyone had power, like rich Hunger Game. So I'm like, yes, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up. Um, there's like seven families that fight and compete. Uh, or uh, like magic so the uh, winner's family gets all of the magic for like i don't know how many years i think each each years or something like that anyway and it's uh it's a floppy paperback as well like i love them it has almost 400 pages i don't care the second one to uh, I think it's 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 only du a duology. So the second one I don't know when it's coming out, but yes. And the spine it's really pretty, really pretty. I like it. Yeah. And uh, Hunger Game I like Hunger Game. So if it's gonna be like that, I know there. I think there's a lot of uh, POV, which I'm not usually. Um, it's not the usual for me. I only do two PLVs max, but this one has like the seven champion, the champion like competitor point of view. So, but I've I've heard great things about it on BookTube. So I guess yes. Next book is the Taking uh, of Jake Livingston, which is a like horror it's really short as well it's almost 250 pages which i think i'm gonna keep for uh one of the weens that olivia uh olivia, olivia reads latte and gabby reads too i'm just miss summer ween i'm a mess yes uh so this one is about a boy who is the only black student in like a preppy school and there's like a lot of talking about race. Uh, 
but uh, like his neighbor is murdered and uh, it's like an ex she like a survivor of a uh, school shooting and he's a medium medium like a, a can talk to ghosts and you want to so it's like ghost ish and like horror horror and social commentary I don't I don't think it's going to be bad it's one of my uh, only books that is a male main character I'll see I'll see if I like it and it's short and it's like thrilling I've not seen a lot of people talk about it though but I saw it in like I don't know Goodreads I think when it came out and I was like hmm and I saw it in Indigo and was like it's really not that like it's really cheap it's not that expensive so I bought it yeah and I think I'm gonna like be able to read it real fast yeah for like one of the wings like I told you so yeah let next book is Spin the Dawn by you know who you know who Elizabeth Lim I love her so much she was the author of uh, Six Crimson Crane which I'm in love with and yeah I'll, the second one of Six Crimson Crane is coming out this August so it's like in three weeks I think so and this one is her first uh, duology which is Spin the Dawn and Unravel the Dusk. Yes. And I I think I'm gonna like it. I cannot, you cannot tell me. I already like her writing style so much. And this one is about like a, uh, a girl who goes into a competition to make three dresses, but she's like undercover because uh, she's taking the identity of like her brother, her father, because only like, uh, I don't know how to, dressmakers can be boys in this world. So she's a girl and she's like, I want to compete. So she needs to do three dress, one inspired by the sun, one inspired by the moon and one inspired by the stars. So yeah, and there is like a great plot. I think it's gonna be great. I I saw it. Uh, I got. Bloop. I already had it in like my Amazon wish list. So if I didn't saw it, I was like, I would have bought it anyway. So yeah. Yes, yes. I'm happy. It's really, it's really a pretty cover as well. Look at that cover. So pretty. So I'm ready. I already want to read Nick's. Like Nick's. But I don't have the second one, so I don't want to wait. So maybe I'm gonna wait just for the second one to be in my position so I can binge them. Yeah. Next three, uh, next book I bought was Don't Tell a Soul by Kristen Miller. If you can tell, it's another like horror story thing. Uh, I don't know the cover look at that I think I saw Katie Colson read it as well that's why I was like interested in it it's not even uh, for 100 pages shorter book as well so yeah it's a feminist twist on gothic horror that thrills and chills all the best girl, ghost or girls it's it's about a like haunted, ma uh, haunted house and there's legend that tells that uh, about dead girls, girls whose li lives were cut short in the house. Yeah, so she, she like, she's like go, she like go lives with her uncle that has a creepy house, but there's a lot of dead girls like, and maybe the dead girls never left the matter. So it's like haunted house. I already like read two books about Haunted House, which was not a great thing. Gallant and uh, Horrid. Horrid was the disappointment so bad. And Gallant was like meh. So I am hoping this one is going to be good. Because after that, maybe Haunted Matters are like not the 
my sting. But I've, I've watched The Hunting of Hill House and I loved it. So maybe it's just I'm not finding the right books about hunted mammals. Maybe that's why. So I'm guess I, I I'm hoping this one is. Look at that cover with the hands. On the hard cover, it was the ends that were embossed. I was like, oh my god. But it was like ten dollars or like fifteen dollars more. So I was like, no, for these embossed hands, no, no. I'm gonna have good luck. Yeah, because I'm a cheap girl. Yes. Next book was in the ravenous dark. If you see a theme here, yes, I'm trying to pack up for like uh, October spooky vibes. So in the ravenous dark is a this one uh, was in my um, LGBTQ plus recommendation video. If you didn't saw it, yeah. So uh, I think the main character is like pansexual. Hello. So the main character is pansexual and she's in a uh, polyamorous relationship with a girl, which is I think a rebellious princess and a boy that is a powerful spirit who can take control of her body and soul. Because she is uh, the main character is one that has magic and you're not supposed to have magic in this world or yeah you can have magic in this world but like you need to be supervised by another like undead spirits um who controls him yeah and she is she have power and she didn't tell anyone so she does not have a undead spirit but she get this cover but she so she is paired with the uh, Ivrilos. I. Ivrilos. 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 Something like that. And she wants her independence back. Do you want. You want to talk? <laughs> she wants her independence back, but when she trying to regain it, she falls in love with two people she cannot fully trust. The rebellious princess and the spirits who can control her. This you cannot tell me this doesn't sound good. Not 400 pages as well, almost, but not. So smaller books, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, uh, it's gonna. So uh, I think it sounds great. The cover is beautiful as well. I know uh, it was one of the pick for uh, Elmer Crate box like last year but I wasn't subscribed yet so yeah uh, but it's so pretty it's really pretty sounds great and I'm hoping to read this soon uh, I don't do oh it's the next to the last I don't know if you can tell it not the last one but almost the last one it's these hollow vows if you think I didn't heard that this one a, was a love triangle with fairies. Are you dumb? Like it's for sure my my type of book. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a girl who uh, makes a deal with the fae, and her sister her sister is taken by the king of the Antilly court, but she wants to get her back, so she makes a deal with the king himself and she needs to rescue her sister to uh, find three magic relics from the rival silly court it's like two kingdom but uh yeah uh yeah so the only two things that can be helped with her quest to these three things uh she becomes a like potential bride for the prince and she gets help from like a band of misfits with their own secret agenda and their leader and she falls in love with the leader and maybe the prince yeah so it's like you cannot tell me this doesn't sound good 
it's really really like it's a duology i think or trilogy but the second one the second is already out already came out but i think it came out in like uh hardback not paperback yet so i'm waiting i'm waiting but this isn't this sounds so good yeah yeah i think it, it's one of the longer books I've bought in this haul yet. So yeah, it's, the cover is really pretty as well. Really like it. Uh, it this is the US cover, because I'm in Canada. Yeah, and it's one of the usual... This one is one of the uh, like only books that in US that I like. Because the UK one is... Yeah. The second one though is ugly. I don't like it and I don't think it's the same person who uh, who draw them because they don't look the same. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Like the girl doesn't look like herself. I really don't like it. But yeah, hope the story is, is good. I It's fantasy romance. What can go wrong? Yeah. And the last book I got for this haul is... This Wicked Fate, yes, This Wicked Fate by Kaylin Baron, which is the second book to This Poison Heart. I think, yeah, I was a. Uh, I got the uh, This Poison Heart uh, exclusive All Crate Edition, but they didn't do a second one to match it. So that's sad, but it's pretty as well. It's cute, I like it. I do think it kind of match. It's the same, oh my god, it's the same artist that did them. So it's great, and the light blue, like, kind of match. So it's great. This, uh, this Poison Heart was so good. Bisexual main character, black character. I really liked it, and uh, the second one is out. It's not, it's like almost 300 pages, or like a little bit less. It's really good. It's about a girl who has like power and she can control the plants like poison ivy in DC universe. Uh, but yeah, she gets entangled with a weird thing like a mafia type deal, I think so. Yeah, and there's way like there's like a cure. It's really something because I cannot tell you the end because I know the end and I was like hey but yeah I I don't want to tell you the spoiler but it's really good really good she has two moms as well and she falls it, she starts to fall in love with this girl and she she's like new to this town she um, moves to a weird ass uh, house do you sense a team here? I like when main character moves into a re weird ass house. Yeah. And she discovers some weird plant, weird garden, and she can control them. It's like poisonous plant, and she's the only one who can touch them without dying. So, some people want to use her for this advantage. So, yeah. It's really good. You should read it. And this is this last one. It's a duology, so this is the last one. It's really good. Really good. I like it. And I wanted to know what the second one, like the end of this story was. Yeah. So this was my last uh, my last book. I wanted to show you. It's a hell lot of a lot of book. It's really a lot. And I love, love them all. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to read them real fast. It's becoming heavy. Yeah. So it's... It's eight book. Uh, I love to do a, a book haul regularly. Oh, I missed two one as well. I bought two more books uh, before going to this trip with my mom, but I didn't show you guys these two. So, hee hee hee. 
Uh, last one. Um. Uh, that I didn't buy I, in Google, but I'm in my local bookstore. It's Blade Breaker. I still haven't read uh, Realm Breaker. Yes, I know I bought this whole last big book before reading the first one. I'm sorry. I didn't even read anything by Victoria A. Ward again, yet again. I really want to read The Red Queen though. Seems like right up my alley. But yeah, uh, it's really pretty. I like it. It wraps around. Uh, really pretty. It's almost, it's like 500 pages something. Yeah, 550. It's like a brick. But yeah, I, I'm belting. I, I think I'm gonna love it. I hope so. It's like, um, this series is pitched as Garden of the Galaxy. I always forgot the last one. Uh, I don't know what this one is pitch. I forgot. But it's like Guardian of the Galaxy, but like not Hunger Game, but like something. So it's like in space. But it's like uh Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna whoa like research. I'm so bad. I know what it is. Lord of the Ring meets Guardian of the Galaxy. Yeah, I I totally didn't do a research on it to know that. So yeah, it's have like a uh, sci-fi-ish vibe to it, but with old medieval kind of theme. So I think I'm gonna like it, even though it has kind of sci-fi. I think. It's like more fantasy than sci-fi because of the Lord of the Rings thing and a fantasy fan's dream. New classic, a true fantasy. It's high fantasy with the Lord of the Ring thing, Lord of the Ring thing, but with a like sprinkle of sci-fi, I think. So with the Guardian of the Galaxy. A lot of people are like saying that. So yeah. I bought this one. It's a trilogy, I think. Uh, I saw. Yeah. So I still haven't read the first one, but I've bought the second one. Big brain, nice. And the last book I uh, bought, not for this Indigo trip, but like, uh, like two days before, was. Uh, Gods and Monsters by Shelby Maruran, which is a uh, serpent and dove, the last one. Yes, I know, I'm a trashy bitch. This, it's kind of my go-to. Yeah, I've started uh, Serpent and Dove, uh, I've read Blood and Honey and Serpent and Dove in like last summer, but I didn't want to buy the hardcover, uh, the third one. So I have it in a paperback now. It's big, it's floppy. I think it almost have 700 pages, which I'm not down for. No, 600. Yeah, and I, it's the last one though. So I wanted to have it. It's, I know, I know a lot of people say uh, Serpent Dove is not the greatest book. I know, but it's like, it's like bad. But it's so bad it is good for me. Like the writing is... Yeah. But the story... You cannot tell me that... Like... Witch and witch hunter trope... Doesn't... Seems like it's gonna be exciting for me. I'm a trashy bitch. And that's it. There's no smut in it at all. It's why. But... I like it. And I wanna know where... Uh... What's her name? Lou. Lou goes because she's like becoming this like weird bitch. Witch. So yeah. Uh, yeah. All of my small little book haul. Ten books in total. I think so. Because I didn't buy anything else. Like that's done enough. Yeah. For now, I didn't buy anything else. So... Uh, next month though, that's going to be another thing because it's my month, like my birthday month. So you're gonna see a lot of uh, 
like my gift to myself because I'm that kind of person I don't wait for my birthday which is the 22 because uh, it's where I'm starting restarting school no 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 I'm not gonna hate uh, yeah so this August it's my birthday for all the month so I'm gonna read and I'm gonna buy some book like I don't have it like too much yeah so I'm hoping I finished everything yeah everything 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 yeah I hope you like it like a book haul a lot of these are like uh, books I'm gonna read probably this October slash September a lot of books are coming in September so I need to be ready for it so I need to watch my CBR and be able to read the books I want before September so yeah anyway I hope you like this video if you did you can drop a like down below comment and if you want to subscribe to see more of my face and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye